Hello people, Ultimate 50 here, back again. I haven't done a video for a couple of weeks. Why? Because I've literally had nothing to talk about and I've also been pretty busy doing absolutely nothing. But today I'm going to talk about a film called Todd. Yes. Now this film, it's on Amazon Prime and it looks like a promising kind of film. It was about some sort of introverted person that doesn't get out of the house much and he gets some like, his mind ends up pretty, you know, like messed up. And, uh, you know, it's one of the films, it's, it's like a thriller film where, uh, yeah, the guy's an introvert and then his sanity kind of, you know, depletes. And then all of a sudden at the end of the film, he has a gun and then he goes postal and he threatens his girl he likes and his therapist and he never actually does it. And spoiler alert, he killed himself with the gun and his therapist keeps his ashes uh, in his office, just so his therapist doesn't get distracted from his uh, patients in the future. That is roughly the film, but it, this film is uh, absolutely dog shit. It is fucking crap. The main actor who plays Todd has to be one of the worst actors I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this film did show some promise, and you know, I, and I thought, wow, I'm going to get a really good, like, messed up thrill here. Some kind of human centipede kind of shit's going to go down. Nothing went down. And the funny thing is, people, Todd wasn't even in the film for most of the film. The film's called Todd, but Todd was only in the film probably about, I'm going to say six times or something like that. The film was like an hour and a half and Todd wasn't even in the fucking film. Uh, and and whoever played Todd, uh, you know, he was, uh, he barely had any lines either in the film. It was kind of, a, you know, kind of a mystery why they, they even had this character. The film was more about Todd's uh, therapist. Now, Todd's therapist is a bit of a douchebag, actually. Complete asshole. Asshole with his family, so he's offhanded with his wife. He's obviously, uh, you know, like a horrible father because he neglects his slight child. He would rather go to a bar in the town centre and start drinking rather than going home to see his family. And when he is at home seeing his family, he kind of neglects them and palms them off and just gets, like, borderline angry with them. Therefore, he gets angry with his patient, uh, Todd. Yes. It's quite an interesting film, in a way, because it's quite interesting how shit this film actually is. Uh, for example, there's like... I, there's no plot. The film doesn't have a plot. So basically, there's like, shows this thing where the therapist, he's actually sat in this bar, he has a drink, this woman comes on to him, and he goes, sorry, I'm married. And I was thinking, wait a minute, would this not have made the film that tiny bit more interesting if he actually cheated on his wife and slept with this hooker, which she looks like? <laughs> because... There's a stage in this film where Todd's actually stalking his therapist, uh, and he stalk, uh, and I'm going to get to it later on, but he's, he actually stalks his therapist, and like at the end of the film, he confronts his therapist with a gun with his family. But wouldn't it have made it more interesting if Todd uh, blackmailed his therapist, if his therapist actually slept with this woman and cheated on his wife? Now, that would have made uh, you know the plot a bit more stronger, but for some reason, they didn't go down that route. It's like they wanted to portray the uh, therapist as a fantastic guy. And after the end of the film, where the therapist ends up being a fantastic father, uh, it still would have kind of made up for the time he cheated on his wife, but he actually never did do it, which was absolutely fucking ridiculous. Because why have a therapist that's a dick with his family, but not do this? I mean, I know every other decent film would go down that route, to show how much of a depraved man this can be and then build him up from there to being the perfect father. But it never actually does that. Why? I don't know. There was no reason for him not to do that. Uh, I'm not saying cheating on someone's good. It's absolutely terrible. But if you're going to have a terrible character in the film, then you might as well make them do terrible acts to make you go, oh! The film didn't have that. It didn't go down that route. Another thing is Todd comes out of his therapist's office at the start of the film and bumps into this woman that works in his coffee shop. So he goes to this coffee shop and orders water and he decides to kind of follow this woman around for no reason whatsoever, might I add. And it's like, why then? I understand that Todd's mental health must have been really, really affecting him, but why would he just start stalking her then and there, right then? It just doesn't make sense. And then they also had a funny thing. The uh, waitress in this coffee shop, which he went to, which he eventually stalked, uh, he was an aspiring actress and she... Coincidentally, there was a like an agent or something, uh, and he said to her, oh, "I can make you famous. I can, uh, I, you know, there's some roles in a new film you can do. All you've got to do is come back to my place." 
So anyway, she gets shagged by this guy. It's all consensual, of course. And then he vanishes in the morning. It's like, how dumb could you really be? For one, they didn't need to include that in the film whatsoever. It had absolutely zero relevance to the film, her getting uh, railed by a fucking agent. Because she wanted to be an actress. It, it, the, it didn't strengthen the plot in any way, shape, or form. So I don't know why you'd put that in there. Because they never, they never elaborated on her character, so it, was, it wasn't necessary for that scene to even be in the film. And she's crying, well, you did this to me. Well, I'm not... I'm not trying to sound like a dick, but if someone did that, to, if a woman came up to me in real life and said, Hey, Awesome50, I'm going to make you famous. I see you've got a YouTube channel. What time did you finish work? I'd be like, yes. Okay, cool. Let's go back to your place. Now, okay, maybe I'm pushing the boat out a bit, but I'd be under the assumption that bitch wants to ride me and I'm not going to get famous. But don't get me wrong. I'd still accept the riding though. And I'd deal with the consequences later. because It would all be consensual. Anyway, I digress. Uh, oh, it depends how good looking the uh, agent one would, would be, of course. But anyway, this the, the guy, the agent guy in this film was like her senior. Christ, the guy looked about 60. She was young. And she it obviously explains her as a person why she'd go down them, you know, that length of depravity just to get a part in a film by getting shagged by an older man like that. It, fuck it. They should have killed her at the end of the film. Anyway, so basically, yeah, it's, and then Todd, uh, he keeps going to his therapist, his therapist kind of pawns him off and says he needs to socialise a bit. Uh, Todd's an absolute dickhead, he's never had a job in his life, and he lives off his parents' inheritance because his parents died in a car crash he was in, and that explains his mental health issues, but not really, at the same time. Uh, so yeah, the film was dog shit. I, I don't even know why I even bothered, I, I do know, actually, yeah, I do know why I bothered watching it. I watched it because I got about 45 minutes into the film and then when I get to that threshold I usually carry on watching a film because I've come too far to give up on the film you know I've got like a 20 minute margin and then once that's over with then I just carry on watching the film because that means I've wasted oxygen and time in my life so I might as well get to the end of this monstrosity which is what I did that was a terrible well the character could have been good it's just the actor was terrible. And I can't even tell you who the actor were because I refused to acknowledge this actor because he was fucking shit. There was nothing good about this film. It barely had any characters in and it was crap. And I think it had three and a half stars. I mean, three and a half stars, really? It wasn't a good film. But then again, that's Amazon Prime in a nutshell, in it? Just to save some cash, I cancelled my Netflix because I weren't really watching these Spanish films. They were banging out because I don't like reading subtitles. Well, I don't mind if it's a good film, but I'm not going to take my chance reading subtitles of a film that's going to be crap. And I also cancelled my Disney Plus because I prefer my thrillers and my horror films. And I weren't really getting that on Disney Plus because it's Disney Plus. It's not like a horror thing, you know. So I kept Amazon Prime simply because I get free next day deliveries with uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, even though I don't buy anything off there. But it's still good to have the perk. But Amazon Prime is full of films and most of them are dog shit. The only good films on Amazon Prime, to be fair, are probably the older films from 2006 and under. Because they used to got four to five stars, some of them. Uh, but the Amazon Prime is full of dog shit films, like the film Todd. I mean, I implore you people to watch this film, simply because... Sorry, I'm looking up, I thought there was a spider on my wall. It wasn't. So I implore you people to watch this film, simply because you'll see how crap this film actually is. Uh, it's absolutely fucking terrible. It shouldn't even call it. I mean, the film was about Todd's psychiatrist, and it wasn't. It didn't even look like a real psychiatrist office. It actually looked like a just a room they rented to, to make the film in. Fucking film, but yeah, I thought I'd do a video on it. I haven't done a video for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna bang a couple of videos out actually while I'm on the uh, track. Yeah, Todd. If you watch it, people, it's crap, but you might enjoy it, but I doubt it. If you enjoy this film, people, your taste must be stronger than mine. You must be able to like anything that anyone puts out there, because this film's crap. I don't, I mean, I'm trying to think in my head now while I'm on video. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I've already finished thinking. It, the film, the idea was good, okay? The idea for the film Todd was good, but it's like whoever wrote the film, like, shouldn't have wrote the film. 
You know, it, it, it must have been that low budget. The guy that wrote the film must have directed the film and produced the film because no producer or director would get behind that. You know, it has to have been some serious low budget shit. I, I'm, I, I, this is, I don't know this, but it would not surprise me if the actor that were playing Todd wasn't also the director, the producer, and the writer. It wouldn't surprise me with how amateur this film were. I could literally write a better film now. I, I, honestly, I, I can't, you know, I could. I, it would take me an hour to write a better film than that. Because it was terrible. But then again, that is Amazon Prime in a nutshell. They just have shit films on because the uh, Amazon Prime seems to have the quantity over quality kind of thing. So because you're paying monthly, they'll just give you so much shit to watch. And you've got to filter yourself through what shit, what isn't shit, because it doesn't help you with that. You can have a thumbs up and thumbs down, similar to Netflix, but that still does not help your film choices. So the film, Todd, dog shit. Give it a watch. You'll know what I mean. The film is shit. You shouldn't even watch it. But you should at the same time. Because if you watch that film, you're going to know what a shit film is. And if you like the film, whew, then I salute you. Yeah, awesome 50 out. I've done 10 minutes. Can't talk about this film anymore because it was shit.